everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Today's video is going to be a pretty quick and short one just to show you guys how to do some fixes with Cricut Design Space. They've done some updates recently and they're not all great. It happens but I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can help your Cricut Design Space run and work better for you. If you guys have questions leave those in those comments down below. I'm happy to answer them for you. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel here and hit that bell icon. That will let you know when I post a new video and make sure that you sign up for my newsletter at my website. Totally free to sign up and I would love to have you there. It's just going to let you know all the fun things that we're doing. If we do any exclusive mystery boxes or sales, they'll be sent through the emails as well for you guys. So let's get started. I'm going to show you guys a few of the ways I have found to help Design Space run better. What you can do is go to your files. So you wanna open up a folder. And if you go to the C drive, so you can just go to this PC and go to your Windows C drive. And all you need to do is go to users, find yourself on here, you may have a strange name, and then open Cricut Design Space, open your local data folder, and then just delete these two files. It may take a second to delete everything, but you can see how much space this took up. It's got a ton of files in here and they're not needed. You can delete all of that stuff and it won't affect your Cricut design space, but it's gonna make your computer run faster and your design space run faster. I hope this helped you guys from time to time and do this a couple times a month or every other month, whatever you want. Depends on how much you use design space, but this can really make a big difference. It helped mine so much and you can see it was so many files. Did you know that your computer actually stores all of your updates for Cricut Design Space? So what you're gonna do is go to your Windows C drive, go to users and find yourself on here. And then you'll see right here, you have the Cricut Design Space folder, click that. If you go to the update folder, you will see all the updates from when you started updating on the current PC that you are on. You can actually delete every single update except the most current one that you are using. So all I'm gonna do is click delete and you're good to go. That saves so much space. Now, yes, I know my computer's super full. I do a lot of videos, I'm sorry. Don't worry, I'm working on merging them. Another troubleshooting thing that you can do with Cricut is to go into your Cricut design space and you can do this from either a new project or right from the home screen. Just go to these three lines right here at the upper left hand corner. You're going to go down to where it says settings and it's going to open our Cricut design space settings. This is where you can change your grid options, your units, how you save for offline use, but also they've added this canvas style. So it even tells you down here if you experience problems with the new canvas style, revert to classic. So if we're having some issues, let's go ahead and just click classic. And what it's going to do is it's going to change us back to the original Cricut Classic and you can do pretty much everything on here. You should have no problems using it. It can cut, it can write, it can do all of the things, but you can do that right here from the classic mode. So it's kind of a way that if you're having some issues, you can try doing that on top of some of the other tips I've given you. I hope this quick troubleshooting video helped you guys out. Some of these will work on Mac and um, for sure the changing to classic mode will work on your Mac computer. But as far as the other two, I am not sure where that would be on a Mac computer. I do apologize. If I can find videos that show some of these with a Mac, I will put links to those down in the description box below. If you guys have questions, let me know in those comments down below. I'm so happy to help you guys with your problems with Cricut or any crafting questions that you may have. If you guys have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. Just hit that big red subscribe button. It is totally free to subscribe. And I would love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.